GCU's College of Education is here to support you in completing your teacher preparation program. As a reminder, after completion of your program, you will receive your degree from the university and apply for teacher certification through your state's Department of Education. Completing and passing teacher preparation exams are crucial steps in acquiring state teacher certification. If you live in certain states, one of these required assessments is Pearson's EdTPA, or the Education Teacher Performance Assessment. Unlike most required tests for certification, the EdTPA requires teacher candidates to create a portfolio rather than pass a multiple choice type of exam. I'm here to share a little bit about what to expect from the EdTPA through some common questions. What is included in the EdTPA portfolio? Teacher candidates will create a portfolio of artifacts such as lesson plans, video recordings, and student assessments that demonstrate the candidate's ability to achieve certain goals. EdTPA is a subject-specific assessment. Different programs of study call for different content focuses in the EdTPA assessment. Most assessments are divided into three parts or tasks. Planning, instructing, assessing. For the planning task, you will create a lesson segment of three to five lessons that are aligned to a set of standards. These are usually taught within a week. After completing the unit plan, you will also answer commentary questions related to your plans. During the instructing task, you will teach the lessons you planned and record video clips that showcase certain instructional strategies and positive student interactions. You will then complete a commentary on your teaching practice. In the third phase, you will select one of the formative assessments given during the learning segment and analyze student work samples. During this phase, you will reteach a lesson to a focus group and collect new work samples to show student progress. You then will write a commentary about the actions you decided on. Once you have compiled all pieces of your portfolio, you will submit your finalized portfolio to Pearson for scoring. Why is the EdTPA needed? The EdTPA takes a holistic approach to assessing a potential candidate's ability to teach. The goal of the EdTPA is to assess how ready teacher candidates are to become full-fledged teachers by having the candidate gather real-world evidence during their student teaching experience. While the more common assessments do a fair job of ensuring a candidate is prepared for a teaching position, the EdTPA is more effective in this regard. Do I need to complete the EdTPA? While all states require teacher certification, only certain states require candidates to complete and pass the EdTPA assessment. All states have different requirements for certification, which can differ for in-state versus out-of-state universities. For this reason, you should reach out to your field experience counselor to verify if your state requires completion of the EdTPA. When do I complete the EdTPA? If a state requires EdTPA, the most common time candidates complete the portfolio assessment is during student teaching. Some states do allow for candidates to complete the EdTPA within a few years after student teaching. Where can I learn more? The best place to learn more about the EdTPA is directly from edtpa.org. There you will find many free resources and essential information regarding the assessment. As always, your field experience counselor is a great person to reach out to with EdTPA questions. We hope this video was helpful in introducing you to the EdTPA assessment.